very good evening and welcome dear students 30 question discussion session we resume today today we discuss chapter number 7 microbes in human welfare first question match the following list of microbes and their importance in the left side column you can see four types of microbes are given Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Monascus purpureus, Trichoderma polysporum, Propioni bacterium sherpani. Their importance which has to be matched with them are given on the right hand side column. Production of immunosuppressive agent, ripening of Swiss cheese, commercial production of ethanol, production of blood cholesterol lowering agents. We have to match the type of microbe and their economic importance. Here the answer is 2. Here the answer is Two. Option 2. We can look into the aspects of the question. Saccharomyces cerevisiae can be matched to can be matched to three. This can we can modify it. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, popularly called the yeast. It is a fungus used for the commercial production of ethanol. Yeast is a fungus and it can perform fermentation. During the fermentation process, yeast convert sugar into alcohol and this fermentation process and the microbe is used for the commercial production of uh, alcohol. Usually molasses is used for the commercial production of ethanol. Molasses is the liquid left behind. Remains after the extraction of sugar. Even though it is the liquid left behind, it contains lot of sugar, but extraction of sugar from this leftover liquid is not commercially feasible. So it is not attempted or it is not tried for extraction of sugar. Still it contains sugar. That sugar, a waste product of sugar, uh, sugar industry, methanol is used for fermentation to produce commercial production of ethanol. Second, that is monascus purpureus. It is used for the production of blood cholesterol lowering agent. That is statin. It is a bioactive molecule. It is produced from monascus purpureus. Again a fungus coming under the category of yeast. Statin is a bioactive molecule. It is used as a medicine to control, to lower the blood cholesterol level. How does statin act? Statin acts as a competitive inhibitor. Statin acts as a competitive inhibitor to the enzyme responsible for the production of statin responsible for the production of statin. So the action of statin has a competitive inhibitor. It acts as a competitive inhibitor to the enzyme for the enzyme which is responsible for the synthesis or formation of statin the, for the formation of cholesterol. So statin is used for the production of, it can, can lower the blood cholesterol. Trichoderma polysporum, it can be matched with what? 
production of immunosuppressive reagent. It is also a bioactive molecule that is cyclosporin A. Cyclosporin A. It is used as an immunosuppressive reagent. That is when this drug is used, the patient's immunity, self-immunity of the body is suppressed. So the patient could not identify any antigen enter into the body. This medicine or drug is given to organ transplanted patients. Those who receive a foreign organ liver, heart or kidney. The body of the patient will identify it as a foreign body. So the body produces antibodies against it. So the antibody reacted with the received organ, accepted organ and the organ may be discarded from the, by the body of the patient. So not to recognize the accepted organ as an antigen, immunosuppressive agents are given. So this agents or this bioactive molecule that is, does not allow the patient's body to identify the accepted organ as a foreign body. So it suppresses the self-immunity of the patient. Then, Propionibacterium trichoderma polysporum is a fungus. The first three are fungus. Propionibacterium shermani, it is a bacterium used for ripening of cheese. In cheese industry, the final stage of the cheese industry is called ripening of the cheese Ripening, it is actually a fermentation process employed by using microbes. Different types of Swiss, different types of cheese use different types of microorganisms. For example, here in Swiss cheese, Propionibacterium charmani is used. The ripening process gives the texture, taste, and flavor of the cheese. Here it is used a bacterium called Propionibacterium charmani. The holes, the porous nature of Swiss industry is by the activity of Propionibacterium charmani. Other microbes used in famous cheese industry are Penicillium rock 40. Penicillium rock 40. Penicillium rock 40, as you know, it is a fungus. It is a fungus. It is used for the ripening of rock fort cheese, a famous French cheese. Penicillium rock 40 is used for the ripening of rock fort cheese. Another fungus which is used in cheese industry, Penicillium camemberti. Penicillium camemberti. It is used for the ripening of camembert cheese. Both Roqueforti and camemberti used respectively for Roquefort and camembert cheese. Both of them are famous French cheeses. Penicillium rock 40. It is obtained from the species of fungus is found from the Rockport cave of France. Another one, Camembertie, it is from the Camembert cave. Now we go into the details of the next question. It is also a match the following. Here two organic acid and two bioactive molecules are given. So citric acid. Citric acid is commercially produced from the fungus aspergillus. 
it is an organic acid. Cyclosporin A we had seen earlier. Pycoderma, statin, ponascus, butic acid. It is produced from Clostridium. Clostridium is a bacteria. Pycoderma is a fungus. Clostridium is a bacteria. Aspergillus and monascus are fungi. So microbes also useful for commercially producing organic acid. Organic acid. Two more organic acid we studied that is uh, Apart from that, lactic acid we studied. Lactic acid is, is from lactobacillus. Next question. Which of the following in sewage treatment removes suspended uh, solids? Suspended solid. Sewage treatment program consists of two processes. Primary treatment and secondary treatment. Primary treatment involves physical process. Secondary treatment involves biological process. What is primary treatment? Which is a physical process which involves physical methods to remove the debris. Secondary treatment is a biological process because Microbes are employed in this phase. Primary treatment consists of two stages or primary treatment is done in two stages. That is filtration and sedimentation. Here filtration removes, filtration removes the floating debris and sedimentation removes the heavier particles which are removed by the process of sedimentation. Filtration, you know, using suitable filters, the floating debris are removed. And after removal of the, after removing the floating debris, the sewage is allowed to sediment. During sedimentation, the heavier particles, that is, that is grit, then silt, then the pebbles, etc., they will sediment. So, because they are heavier. So, primary treatment is the process which involves the removal of suspended solid. Secondary treatment also done in two stages. That is aerobic process and aerobic process. Secondary treatment, as I told already, microbes are employed. In, in aerobic process, aerobic microbes are used. In anaerobic process, anaerobic microbes are used. That's only the difference. Question number three. Which of the following is correctly matched for the product produced by them? So the correctly matched one. The answer is 4. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is, which is used for the commercial production of ethanol. Acetobacter ST is not used for the production of antibiotics. It is used for the production of uh, acetic acid acetic acid and organic acid. Methanobacterium, it is not used for the production of lactic acid. You know it is used for the production of biogas predominantly containing methane. Penicillium notatum, it is not acetic acid. It is penicillin, not a commercial production. It is chrysogenum species is used in penicillium notatum, the antibiotic penicillin, the first antibiotic 
discovered by Alexander Fleming. Question number five. Select the mismatch. Which one is the mismatch here? That is, second one is mismatch. Rhodospirillum is not a mycorrhiza. Frankia, it is a bacteria, symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria involved in non leguminous plants like uh, ulnus. Ulnus. Next, uh, it is anabina. Anabina is a nitrogen fixer capable of nitrogen fixation. Organisms capable of nitrogen fixation is called nitrogen fixer. Dear students, anabina, a nitrogen fixer has dual quality. One, it can fix nitrogen in the free living state. That means it can fix nitrogen by their own without the help of any organisms. We say it is a free living nitrogen fixer. It is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer also. That is growing in azola has symbiotic association. It can fix atmospheric nitrogen. So anabina, it can fix nitrogen free living state and also in symbiotic state. Free living state means without the help of any other organism, it can fix a atmospheric nitrogen. It can fix a atmospheric nitrogen. Symbiotic, you know, it is in symbiotic association. It is anabina can has that. Then it has. It is a blue-green algae, you know. It is a filamentous blue-green algae. So in symbiotic association, which plant? It affects nitrogen, a solar, an aquatic pteridophyte. A pteridophyte growing in, in water. A pteridophyte. It is a fur. It grows in water. So a solar is used as a biofertilizer. A solar is used as a biofertilizer. Because in azola, in symbiotic association with the anabina, it can fix nitrogen and thus enrich the nutrient capacity or the nutrient level of the soil. It is a biofertilizer, mainly used as a biofertilizer in paddy cultivation. Paddy cultivation. That is, paddy fields are filled with water and azola is uh, seeded. That means allowed it to grow. The azola, which in symbiotic association with the uh, anabina, a blue-green algae, azola is a pteridophyte. It can symbiotically fix nitrogen. So, rhizobium, alpha, alpha. Alpha, alpha common name of a plant belonging to the family Fabaceae, Leguminosae, family Leguminosae, family Fabaceae, category Leguminosae. And you know, Rhizobium is a bacterium. It can fix atmospheric nitrogen. It is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer. But the peculiarity is Rhizobium can grow only in leguminous plants, not in non-leguminous plant. So rice alpha alpha is a leguminous plant belonging to the family Fabaceae. It is a leguminous plant where the root system of the leguminous plant in symbiotic association with the rhizobium, they form root nodules and these root nodules are capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. Frangia is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer in lone leguminous plants. Then rhizobium is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer in alpha alpha. Rhodospirillum is not a mycorrhiza. It is a bacterium. 
it is a bacterium but mycorrhiza example is glomus glomus is the example of mycorrhiza what is mycorrhiza symbiotic association of fungus and root system of higher plants glomus is an example of mycorrhiza next uh, question Conversion of milk to curd improves the nutritional value by increasing the amount of. Answer is what? Increasing the amount of vitamin B12. Curd, as you know, it is the coagulated milk. Milk is a colloidal system. If we add any acid or any acid, the milk will coagulate. But for producing curd, we are not adding acid. That is the important thing. When we add acid, by definition, milk will become curd. Coagulated, milk is curd. When we add acid, milk will coagulate. But instead of adding acid, we allow, we inoculate it milk with a lactobacillus. Why we inoculate milk with lactobacillus or lactic acid producing bacteria? They are commonly called lactobacillus. Lactobacillus, lactic acid bacteria, lactobacillus and others. Lab we say, lactic acid producing bacteria. In the milk, they produce curd, lactic acid. They produce lactic acid. This lactic acid coagulate milk, forms the curd. But apart from coagulation, apart from coagulation, this bacteria do two things. To increase the nutritional quality of milk, the bacterium do two things. One, it produces large amount of vitamin B12. Large amount of vitamin B12, an essential vitamin. Second thing, or the second activity of the lactic acid bacteria to improve the nutritional quality of milk is it partially digest the milk protein. It partially digests the milk protein and help to absorb easily by the intestine. If the milk proteins are as such intact, it is difficult to absorb by the intestine. When we consume milk, the milk proteins are not that much easy to absorb to be absorbed. But when the proteins are partially digested, when the proteins are partially digested and their absorption will be easy. So, in an indirect way, it increases the nutritional quality. One is the direct way by producing vitamin B12. Second is the indirect way, it makes the Absorption of proteins easier by partially digesting them. Okay. That is how the bacteria we use to coagulate milk increase the nutritional quality. Next. Which of the following equipments is essentially required for growing microbes on large scale? for industrial production of enzymes. It is bioreactors, large industrial production, bioreactors or fermenters we call for the culturing of microbes in producing industrial product or commercially important products are produced by growing microbes in bioreactors. Next, the third is a match the following. The answer is one. 
very simple lactobacillus can be matched with two because it is the microorganism employed in producing curd from milk saccharomyces cerevisiae commonly called baker's yeast it is used for making bread here also the dough is fermented by saccharomyces cerevisiae during the fermentation large amount of carbon dioxide is produced since the dough is not a liquid one the carbon dioxide will be trapped inside the dough and it will swell when it is baked at high temperature the bubbles break and carbon dioxide escape creating porous nature in the bird small small pores aspergillus niger it is used for producing the citric acid it is a fungus acetobacter acetate not acetate it is acetate it is produced for the production of acetic acid next which of the following is commercial blood cholesterol lowering agent statin we explained it next and match the following clostridium one is the answer clostridium butylicum that is butric acid trichoderma polysporum monascus it is a blood cholesterol lowering agent aspergillus niger citric acid next which of the following is put into anaerobic digester anaerobic digester so for further sewage treatment anaerobic digesters are used in secondary treatment secondary treatment as i mentioned earlier in connection with a question sewage treatment consists of two phases primary treatment which is a physical process involving filtration and sedimentation secondary treatment is a biological process involving microbes two types of microbes are used in stage 1 aerobic microbes are used in stage 2 anaerobic microbes are used when we use aerobic microbes in the sewage after primary treatment after primary treatment the sewage is subjected to secondary treatment first phase of secondary treatment is aerobic process in which aerobic microbes microbes are used when we use aerobic microbes when we use aerobic microbes the bacteria the fungal filaments they are they form into a into a mesh like structure and that mesh like structure is called activated sludge this activated sludge this activated sludge is subjected to anaerobic digester anaerobic digester what is done anaerobic anaerobic process is done during this process activated sludge is get digested in aerobic process the effluent of primary treatment is subjected to aerobic treatment effluent of primary what is effluent after the primary treatment we will get a sediment in which the solid particle the heavier particle the silt the the pebble 
the sand exit was sedimented. The sedimented part is called primary sludge. After removing the primary sludge or the primary effluent, the supernatant solution is used for the aerobic process. When the supernatant solution or effluent is subjected to primary treatment, that is aerobic process, activated sludge is formed which is subjected to anaerobic process which is done in anaerobic digesters. Next. The microorganism used for the production of biogas. It is methanobacterium. Methanobacterium. Biogas is a mixture of gases of which methane is the major component. Methanobacterium acting upon cellulose containing material, cellulosic material, they convert it into or they digest during this digestion, biogas is produced. So biogas, it is an anaerobic process. Methanobacterium, it is an anaerobic bacterium. So during the anaerobic digestion of sewage treatment, biogas is produced as a byproduct. In biogas plant, biogas is produced as a primary product. There we add biodegradable waste, cellulose containing waste, especially plant materials are added in the biogas plant. We add the methanobacterium by adding cattle dung. By adding cattle dung. The cattle dung contain large quantity of methanobacterium because methanobacterium is common in the rumen part of the cattle. So it digests the cellulosic material and produce the biogas. From which microorganism Streptomycin is prepared, maybe an out of hand CRT question, how it is from? It is from Streptomyces gracius. Streptomycin is an antibiotic. It is produced from Streptomyces gracius. Then, next, biofertilizer is what is a biofertilizer? Usually, many students miss this question, selecting a wrong option. To get a correct one, remember the correct and specific definition of biofertilizer. Biofertilizers are microorganisms which enrich soil fertility. They are microorganisms which enrich soil fertility. Then, so from this concept, the answer is C. Cyanobacterium, an amina species living in the cavities of Azola species, I told already, explained it. So it uh, symbiotically grow with the Azola. So it is a biofertilizer, a microorganism. Here actually the microorganism enriching the soil fertility is anabena, not azola. Why we use azola? That is a large number of azola. Azola grows symbiotically in, sorry, anabena grows symbiotically in azola. So we use. Many students, they select farmyard manure, green manure, etc. These two are not biofertilizer. They are organic manure. Organic manure. Organic manure. Farm yard manure. They are organic manure. Organic manure. 
farm yard manure ash green leaves decaying leaves cattle dung etc they are organic manure cattle dung is not a microorganism decaying green leaves are not microorganism ash is not a microorganism what we say bio fertilizers are or microorganisms microorganisms which enrich soil fertility organic manure ashes green manure cattle dung dirt but when we come to these are symbiotic bacteria it is a micro but acetobacter is not a symbiotic bacteria acetobacter is a free living bacteria it is not a symbiotic bacteria acetobacter it is a free living bacteria it is a free living it is a micro it is a bio fertilizer but it is not a symbiotic bacteria aspergillus niger the whole thing is wrong first aspergillus niger is a fungus it is not a it is a microbe we agree but it is not a bio fertilizer second bryophytes has no root bryophytes has no root to live in the so the statement is totally wrong aspergillus niger is not a bio fertilizer bryophytes has no root so there is no question of aspergillus living in living in bryophytes then 15 penicillium is obtained from it is commercially obtained from penicillium chrysogenum it was discovered in penicillium notatum but chrysogenum is used for the commercial production of penicillin then bt cotton variety contains a foreign gene obtained from dash and this bacterial gene introduced genetically to cotton seeds protect the plants from cancer c bt gene is obtained from a bacterium bacillus thuringiensis it contain a gene bt gene it produce a white crystalline substance which act against the bold worm especially when this chemical is consumed the gut of the bold worm small small pores appear and they die so bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis it is used against ball worm next name the biological control agent used in the treatment of plant disease which is free from living fungus often associated with a root ecosystem trichoderma it is a fungus a soil fungus associated with the root system by the association of trichoderma many root borne pathogens cannot attack the plant so it protect the plant from root borne pathogens so trichoderma it is used as against a biological control what is a biological control agent that is organisms used against pathogens next a process called dash produces by microbial mechanism which can generate fuel fuel here means biogas as i told already biogas is produced during the anaerobic process of sewage treatment during the anaerobic process of 
sewage treatment it is uh, anaerobic sludge digestion anaerobic sludge digestion is the secondary treatment secondary treatment treatment of sewage so during this process biogas is produced number 19 stanley ben rusina an american neurologist whose discovery of plant disease causing proteins called dash in 1982 he won the in 1982 he discovered it in 1997 he won the nobel prize for physiology or medicine so his discovery it is prions prions that is infectious proteinaceous agents protein particles capable of infection that is called a prions okay now we move on to the next question what is the next question it is regarding the discovery of uh, penicillin here discovery of penicillin it was alexander fleming made but the potentiality of penicillin as an antibiotic penicillin was discovered by alexander fleming but the but the potentiality of penicillin as an antibiotic it was discovered by two other scientists that is howard walter flory and ernst boris chain option c they what was their discovery so they discovered the potentiality of penicillin as an effective antibiotic it was discovered so they discovered not a d not a d it is c not d flory not it is not d it is c so for this discovery along with alexander fleming flory and chain won the nobel prize next uh, sewage treatment process involves two steps find out the correct sequence the correct sequence it is given in option b first uh, the floating debris are removed next uh, floating debris by sequential filtration next in the second step uh, sedimentation is done both of them are primary treatment then the second one is done third step so supernatant forms the effluent sedimented part is called primary sludge then the effluent is taken for biological treatment biological treatment is the secondary treatment biological treatment is the secondary treatment or biological process next step microscopic proteinaceous infectious infectious agents they are prions proteins capable of causing diseases stanley pusiner who discovered it we had c which of the following is used as float bluster float bluster means for dissolving blood clot in arteries 
Clot bluster is an enzyme tryptokinase. Clot bluster is an enzyme that is tryptokinase obtained from streptococcus, a bacterium. So it is used for myocardial infraction due to blood clotting in arteries, blood clotting in arteries. So it leads to myocardial infraction. Question number 24. The chemical substance, the chemical substance produced by some microbes which can kill or retard the growth of other microbes. It is antibiotic. The word meaning antibiotic. Handy means against. Biosis means living. Against living, life. Biosis means life. So the word meaning of antibiotic is against life. In what context it is against life? It is against the life of disease-causing microbe. It is against the life of disease-causing microbe. But it is pro-life to humans. Life-friendly in human. For humans, antibiotics are pro-life agents. For bacteria or microbes or pathogens, they are anti-life against life. How? The antibiotics, they act as against the life of pathogen. So in terms of pathogen, this name had been given. Antibiotic. It is against the life of pathogen. On what aspect we know? How most of the antibiotic, they act as competitive inhibitors with the enzyme or competitive inhibitors to the enzymes of bacteria. And these enzymes are taking part in important metabolic process. When antibiotic act as a competitive inhibitor, many metabolic pathways of bacteria get blocked. Get blocked. So the bacteria could not survive. That is how it act. Question number 25. The drug used for DASH patients is obtained from a species of the organism B. The drug is cyclosporin A. It is used in patients, organ transplanted patients and the drug is obtained from trichoderma it, is, it gives a bioactive molecule that is cyclosporin A. Okay. Now, biogas. Biogas is a mixture of inflammable gas. The mixture is methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and hydrogen sulfide. Methane is the predominant one. Methane is the predominant one. Then, 27. Dash is a methane-rich fuel produced by dash breakdown with the help of dash bacteria. So, answer is B. Biogas Previous question, we had seen the components of biogas. It is a methane-rich mixture of gases. 
as I told already, it is an anaerobic process. What is an anaerobic process? Formation of biogas is an anaerobic process. That is why it is obtained from anaerobic sludge digestion of the sewage in secondary treatment. It is produced as a byproduct. In biogas plant, in biogas plant, the process of biogas production is anaerobic. anaerobic. And the bacteria involved is commonly called methanogens. These methanogens, methane producing bacteria. These bacteria are naturally occurring in the rumen part in the rumen part of cattle, in the rumen part, it is a part of stomach of cattle, in the rumen part, they help the digestion of cellulose because cattle, they used to take raw materials, raw plant part. So, rumen part of the cattle, where it helped to digest the cellulosic material. Question number 28, Secondary sewage treatment. Secondary sewage treatment is a biological process. It is a biological process. Why? Here, microbes are used. That is why it is a biological process. Bacteria or microbes are used. Primary treatment primary treatment is a physical process. It is a physical process. So secondary treatment is a biological process. Which one of the following helps the absorption of soil by plant? Globus. Glomus is a mycorrhiza. Glomus is a mycorrhiza. As I defined earlier, it is a symbiotic association between fungus and root system of fire plant. An example for Mycorrhiza is glomus. Glomus helps the absorption of phosphorus from soil. Phosphorus from soil. The association of mycorrhiza is a symbiotic association. Beneficial to both the fungus and the higher plant. Higher plant is benefited by the help by helping the absorption of phosphorus and to some extent water. Mycorrhiza act like a root hair and can and help the absorption of water from far and wide places. Mycorrhiza on the other hand, it can enjoy the photosynthetic product prepared by the plant, synthesized by the plant. So it is a mutually beneficial association. Coming to last question. Organisms used as biofertilizer for raising leguminous crop. Leguminous crop. Here, all the given are micro, all the given are microbes, and all are biofertilizer. All the given are microbes, and all of them can be treated as biofertilizer. But the question specifically mentioned for leguminous crop, legume crop. So we have to select a microbe which is suitable for, suitable for leguminous plant. It is rhizobium. Why rhizobium is selected? Because leguminous plants can fix atmospheric nitrogen with a symbiotic association of rhizobium. 
Symbiotic Association of Rice Beer. Dear students, the interesting aspect of rhizobium, rhizobium is a free living soil bacterium. Rhizobium is a free living soil bacterium. When it is live, when it lives freely in the soil, it cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen. When it lives freely in soil, it cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen. Only when in symbiotic association, it can fix atmospheric nitrogen. That is the irony in the case of uh, rhizobium. Rhizobium cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen alone. Leguminous plants cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen alone. Only their symbiotic association, only their symbiotic association can fix atmospheric nitrogen. Because for the nitrogen fixation in legume rhizobium iso association, the enzyme take part is nitrogenase. The enzyme take part is nitrogenase. Nitrogenase is a highly oxygen sensitive enzyme. Highly oxygen sensitive enzyme. That means nitrogenase cannot work. Nitrogenase cannot act in aerobic condition. In aerobic condition. That is, it can act only in anaerobic condition. Remember, leguminous plant is aerobically respiring so the cells contain so their cells contain rich amount of oxygen rich amount of oxygen so the environment in the cell is aerobic but the enzyme required for nitrogen fixation is nitrogenase it is oxygen sensitive, require anaerobic condition. That is the enzyme requires anaerobic condition, but the condition is aerobic in rhizobium cell. To protect the enzyme and create an, an anaerobic situation, a protein is produced. A pink colored protein is produced that is leg hemoglobin. That he, leg hemoglobin protect the enzyme nitrogenase or provide the enzyme nitrogenase and anaerobic condition, an anaerobic condition to fix atmospheric nitrogen. That is why rhizobium can operate only in leguminous plants. All Nostra cannabina clostridium globus. All are biofertilizer. So here we stop this session. Here we wind up. Thank you.